Okay, I'd like to introduce everybody to butter, and we're going to go over the, the palpable landmarks of the thoracic limb. So to begin with, we're going to think about the placement of the main bones of the limb before we start palpating in the rays, and this would be the location of the scapula. This would be the location of the humerus. In the antebrachium, we're going to have the radius and ulna, and we'll have the carpal bones, metacarpal, and digits. So the first thing we're going to feel for is come back to the scapula, and we're going to feel the scapular spine running the length of the scapula and you can go back and forth and feel that and you come down to its distal point and the key to palpating is to keep moving the limb so when i feel this distal portion of the scapular spine that's the acromion and then we can come back up the dorsally the scapular spine to the dorsal extent of the scapula and that's the dorsal border so returning back down to the acromion the distal tear-shaped part of the spine. We go a little bit cranioventral and we're onto the humerus, and this is the greater tubercle of the humerus. So we follow this down, we follow the humerus down distally to the elbow region, and we get to the widest point of the elbow region. And that would be the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and the medial epicondyle of the humerus. From these two points, we'll go caudally, and we can palpate the olecranon tuber of the ulna. Now we'll follow the ulna distally all the way down through the antebrachium and we'll move the carpal joint here and you can feel the distal part of the ulna right in here. That's the lateral styloid process. From this point we'll go palmar and you can feel the accessory carpal bone right in here and that'll mark the location of the carpal bones. So heading back to the radius, just a second butter, we're almost done. Heading down the radius to the medial aspect where you feel a bump and basically an area where it goes back in a fossa. This is the medial styloid process of the radius. So finally, returning back to the accessory carpal bone, we know this is where the carpal bones are. You should palpate these long bones here and recognize those as the metacarpal bones and then palpate the proximal, middle, and distal phalanx. Good boy, butter. Good job.